It's time. Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be doing something a little different for this video. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick channel update on some stuff that I'm working on, some stuff I'm thinking about doing, and um, some ideas for the future. But before we get into that, I need to kind of uh, do a little retcon, because in a few of my Fire Emblem videos, I gave you some advice that is not, strictly speaking, good. So here's what I deducted. In two of my Fire Emblem character guides, Cordelia and Tiki, I made a few little errors. Now. Uh, by few, I mean one, and by er little, I mean really big, because basically I told you the complete wrong thing. So, Cordelia, as I said before, she has access to Dark Mage and Mercenary in addition to her Pegasus class. Now, Dark Flyer is, of course, her number one priority for Gale Force, but her secondary class is kind of, you know, on the fence. Now, I'd recommend going to Dark Mage and then into, what, like Sorcerer, Dark Flyer? No, don't do that. Don't do that at all. Please, no. I, I tried it, and her magic never got above 24, I think, at, like, level 20 Dark Flyer. It was just, it was sad. So I um, tried it again on a subsequent playthrough and made her a mercenary. This gave her arms thrift, this gave her soul, and she had much better stats overall. And I, I just highly recommend the mercenary into hero into dark fire build. That's probably the best. Although you could go bow knight if you really want the bow breaker skill, but Iot's shield is almost strictly better, so I don't know why you want to do that. Anyway, so uh, that basically summarizes Cordelia's problem. But Tiki had some other issues. Well, see, I played around with her a little more, and I've discovered that it, instead of like hopping around and finding all those crappy like whenever an another unit isn't within three squares thing, turns out that, you know, those aren't that good. Not, like, not at all. <laughs> I tried them, tried them out, they, they, they're not worth it. Not even a little bit. So, uh, <laughs> I have to say, I played around with her a little more, and I found some things that work a bit better. Uh, I leveled her up to level 30, and then changed her directly into a Wyvern Lord. This gave her Sword Breaker, which is pretty good, and Quick Burn. Then I changed her over to a Dark Knight class, uh, the Dark Knight Batman, and got Slow Burn as well as Life Taker. Now, Quick Burn and Slow Burn are pretty mediocre skills on their own, but when you combo them together, they become pretty freaking good. You know that skill, Lucky 7, where it gives you plus 20 hit and avoid for the first 7 rounds? Well, Quick Burn and Slow Burn together give you plus 16 to hit and avoid for the first 15 rounds. Now, I still say Lucky Start might be a tiny, tiny bit better, but for the, for uh, Tiki's case, she doesn't have that many good options, so this is pretty decent for her. Also, Life Taker is not as, quite as good as I originally thought it was, just because it only activates on your turn, but it's not awful. I mean, regaining half of your HP whenever you kill an enemy is pretty sweet, and if you combine that with Gale Force with certain characters, you can regain all of your HP from literally one hit point by killing two guys with Gale Force. It's pretty fun, actually. Anyway, guys, sorry, switch hands. So... Uh, yeah, basically Tiki though, she's kind of an iffy unit, like, I, she's not quite as good as I thought she was, but she is still really fun, really powerful unit, especially if you give her, uh, Limit Breaker, Limit Breaker is excellent for her, also for Cord Cordelia, basically everyone actually, but, uh, anyway, so, now let's get on to talking more about the new content, the new information that you guys probably clicked on this video to hear about since I called it the channel update video. So here's some semi-new information for you guys. I have a Twitter, uh, you may have noticed, but uh, I, you may or may not have known this, but I have a Twitter, it's Zephyr Lord, not Zephyr Games. Zephyr Lord was the original name I had. Uh, I used it for my PSN ID, it, which is Zephyr Lord, again. And um, my Twitter, Zephyr Lord, it's, it's kind of my thing now. And Zephyr Games is my YouTube channel. Now, if you want to check me out on Twitter, there should be a link right about here. It, um, my PSN ID, like I said, is Zephyr Lord, so you can just friend me and I will friend you back. Play some video games. Uh, like I, I also mentioned in my channel description that I have a 3DS, obviously, because I'm playing Awakening. And I'd be more than happy to send out... I'm more than happy to uh, exchange friend codes with you guys, which leads me into my next idea topic, okay? So, I had this thought, oh, like, wait, 
wouldn't it be cool since there aren't that many of you guys? You know, like, there's not, like, a million, so I don't have to worry about this being a hassle yet. But wouldn't it be cool if we had each other as friends on the 3DS, and then I could send out informate periodic, like, weekly updates about my channel, new videos, content, special bonus things on my 3DS, like, fun facts and crap like that via the uh, swap note feature? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> I think that'd be awesome, but it only work if you guys actually friend me. So you have. To, so if you guys want to try this, send me your uh, friend code in a personal message or on a comment if you don't care if anyone sees. I mean, it's not like they can friend you without you know your consent, but still. Anyway, so uh, if you guys want to try this, uh, leave a comment or send me a private message, and let's do this. I think this will be fun. Anyway, so also, like I said earlier, uh, I have a Twitter, so if you guys want to follow me there, that'd be great. We can have some stupid conversations on there as well, because I get on there a little more often than YouTube. I can have better conversations with you guys. Anyway, uh, so as for future video content, I'm planning on continuing Fire Emblem. I love doing Fire Emblem stuff. It's my favorite thing to do. I, uh, I'm definitely going to finish up the DLC reviews, as well as trying to finish as many characters as possible. I may just keep on doing them until I finish all of them someday, who knows. I, I really enjoy doing them though, so uh, I imagine those will continue for a long time. Uh, I actually have another video talk, a, an actual rant this time, planned for a topic that I've been meaning to get to on Fire Emblem for a really long time, so we'll definitely get be doing that in about a week or so. Um, also, as you guys may have noticed, I am sorry about the shaky camera. My left hand is not nearly as stable as my right. Uh, as you guys may have noticed, I am starting to play games on my channel again. I really enjoy doing this, and it's why I started the channel in the first place, technically. So, regardless of how popular they are, I'm going to do it. I hope you guys enjoy them, and uh, I'm going to keep on playing Bot and Kaidos for now. But if you guys have any other suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, have you, and, you know, something else I'd really like to try is playing some games with you guys. Uh, at some point, I'd really love to set up an open lobby in, like, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or uh, Super Smash Bros. or I don't know if that really works like that. I think you can friend code and stuff. But I'd really love to play some games with you guys, either on, like, Magic, Duels of the Planeswalkers, <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom, whatever games you want to try. Or maybe I'll just uh, send out... Or maybe I could just do, like, a live stream event. That'd be kind of fun, too. I was thinking about doing that. If you guys have any preference for any of these things or games and, you know, you'd like to try doing some, playing some video games, uh, yeah, just leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Anyway, that about sums up my update for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching and make sure to leave a comment or a like or whatever below and tell me what you want to know. See you later.